Today, I'm looking at four different drones that you might want to consider if you wanted to spread your wings and get your first drone. Parrot Mambo, Zerotech Dobby, Snapton SP500, and the DJI Mavic Mini. All of them varying in size, functionality, specs, quality, and of course, price. So let's see what they've got on each other. Hello, I'm Ian in London, a PFCO registered uh, drone pilot who gets to play with many different models of drones, but today I'm looking at four models at the lower end of the price range. All of them have got a variety of features uh, to help you learn to fly. They all take pictures and video, but as you'd expect, dropping price does often mean dropping certain features and quality. So here are some of the pros and cons of each of the models so you can see what's important to you and make your own mind up. So, as mentioned, uh, the four drones are the Parrot Mambo, the Dobby, the Snapton, and the Mavic Mini. All four of these drones are under 250 grams, meaning they've got no registration requirements in most countries, including the USA, Canada, UK, and Europe. But, of course, they do vary massively on price and quality. So I'm going to start off with the uh, cheapest of the day, uh, Parrot Mambo. Um, it comes with a few different packages. Uh, the one I've got is the FPV package that comes with the... Uh, Flypad remote control, uh, the FPV goggles, and the little camera module. This one typically goes for around $150 or about £120, but they often have good discounts, which you can see a third knocked off that price, and I've often seen this very package going for just £80 in curries. This is very much a beginner drone. The remote control is good, and it will teach you the basics of flying a drone. But the camera quality is poor and will not be suitable for you if you're after any good quality photos or video. It's actually a tiny plug-in module, which I can unplug and show you here. Uh, so it can't change direction in any way, and it's only a 720p resolution. So the quality is definitely in the fun category with no ability to alter the direction uh, and uh, certainly no stabilization for when you're trying to shoot some uh, video. It only has around nine minutes of flight time and the range is up to about 300 feet or about 100 meters when you're using the flypad remote. This drone does not have GPS, which means it cannot return to home if it loses signal. Instead, it'll just hover and wait for you to walk over towards it. It does have an app that allows you to see the camera's view as you fly. It's a bit convoluted to set up as it uses both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when you're using the remote fly pad and your phone to fly and control the drone. The Mambo does have uh, downward positioning sensors that help keep it uh, pretty steady when flying low. And ultimately, if you want a fun camera drone for your kids, then this is absolutely a fine drone for you. Uh, very easy to get spare parts. Uh, they come in packs of uh, 10 uh, if you get them from the Mambo site. Uh, it's obviously very cheap and good uh, for when it crashes. The FPV set of goggles uses your smartphone and it is a fun way to get into the world of FPV or first person view flying. Uh, but again, it's defo at the lower end of the quality. Uh, you don't have to do use uh, FPV, you can just fly it in a uh, normal uh, traditional manner if you want. But the bottom line look is that the Mambo is very, very much a beginner camera drone for kids or adults that just want some fun learning to fly without spending truckloads of money. Just be aware it's got no GPS and a pretty poor camera. So next up we have the Zerotech Dobby, uh, around 180 US dollars, about 150 pounds. It does look like a tiny toy drone, but it's actually an amazing bit of kit. It's got GPS and a 4K camera. This really is a pocket drone, and uh, when it's all folded up nice and snug, it will very easily slip into your pocket, because in the day, it is literally the size of a mobile phone, probably about three times as uh, thick. But you can see the arms and the props uh, fold away uh, very snug, and it ends up being a, a very small uh, little bit of kit. The Dobby doesn't come with its own remote control. Uh, instead, it uses a sm uh, your smartphone. Um, it's still got a very good range though, a range of about uh, 300 feet uh, or 100 meters. Uh, because it's got GPS, it's much better at holding its position and it does have automatic return to home features if uh, the signal gets lost or it's getting uh, to low battery. 
It's also got some smart features like follow me and gesture control. Unfortunately, with the, with the uh, small battery, it's only got around 10 minutes flying time and uh, it only comes supplied with one battery, so I would always buy a spare battery uh, if I were you. But the camera quality on the Dobby is quite surprising. It's 13 megapixel photos and 4K video with very reasonable colors, all saved on its 16 gig of internal memory. But the big disadvantage with this drone is the fixed camera. As you can see, there's no gimbal, all you can do is adjust the angle from horizontal straight all the way down to uh, straight down. It has got fairly good uh, video stabilization function. That reduces the resolution of the video, but it does produce pretty smooth video. But with a short battery life, you'd better be quick. So the bottom line with the Zyrotec Dobby, portability and a decent camera are this drone's best features. Even the Mavic Mini cannot fit in your pocket. It does take good pictures and video. Uh, it will not really teach you how to fly a drone properly though, as there's no remote. It's very much geared for a quick up and down flight to take landscape or selfie pictures and, uh, and video and really not much else. So next up, we've got the Snapton SP500 folding drone. Um, it folds, making it a little bit smaller. Uh, the legs pop out. This comes in a little cheaper than the Dobby at around 160 US dollars, about 130 pounds. Uh, it does come with a remote control. It comes with two uh, batteries. Um, it's got a 1080p camera which, uh, and it has got GPS built in. The Snapton has got a far greater flight range of around 700 feet or uh, 200 meters. And it's got a max height of around 400 feet or 120 meters, putting this far more in the uh, proper drone flight category, if you like. You get two batteries, each with about 12, 13 uh, minutes of flight time. Comes with uh, separate chargers for each of the batteries and the remote control. The GPS means it's pretty good at holding its position and it offers automatic low battery and lost signal return to home. With the app also letting you specify the maximum distance to fly from you. The camera does let this drone down though, uh, as it records video at just 1080 and produces just two megapixel photos. Colors are pretty washed out and the wide angle lens is gonna give poor quality fisheye effect on pretty much everything you uh, uh, film or shoot. Again, my biggest drawback with this drone is the lack of gimbal. Uh, the camera is fixed, doesn't even have as much range as the uh, Dobby. It can go from the horizontal down to around uh, uh, 30 degrees or so, 40 degrees. But it's got such a wide uh, field of view, you're pretty much gonna get everything in anyway. Either way though, uh, your pictures are gonna be crooked and your video is gonna be quite jerky. But let's not forget the price tag here. It's an entry level drone that is still giving you a fair few uh, smart features, a very well thought out app that comes with plenty of smart features, including gesture control and follow me and an orbiting uh, circular flight. Bottom line, at the price this is actually a very good drone got GPS, two batteries giving you half an hour flight time, an okay camera with an onboard micro SD card to store them all, and having the proper remote control, it will teach you uh, the basics of how to fly a drone properly using standard stick controls. And out of these three drones so far, this one feels and flies the most like a standard remote control drone. And so that finally brings me on to the DJI Mavic Mini. Now look, today's video was never gonna be a competition between the four models, because each of them have got uh, very different prices. The Mini is far and away the most expensive of the four drones at around $400 or 350 pounds for the basic package, or an extra $100 uh, or pounds for the combo package, which gives you an extra two batteries, a charging hub, prop guards, and a uh, very smart uh, travel case. So for that money, you would expect it to have the best specifications and features of the four models, which I'm looking at today. Well, look, DJI do produce the world's top selling drones with good reason. And the Mavic Mini is no exception. Coming with GPS, a whopping 30 minute flight time for each battery, a fully functional remote control, and a range of between one and three kilometers or one to two miles. The half inch sensor camera gives 13 megapixel pictures and 2.7K video. And unlike any of the other models, crucially the camera is mounted on a three axis gimbal, 
meaning that you can move the direction of the camera in flight to capture whatever it is. And crucially, as the drone is moving around and being blown by the wind, uh, everything is gonna be smoothed out and you will still end up with perfectly smooth video. This is a high-end camera that gives great results and there is no shortage of reviews on the Mavic Mini showing all its features and specifications. GPS allows it to initiate intelligent return to home modes for low battery or loss of signal and also features an excellent Find My Drone function if the Mini has landed or crashed far away from you. It's got different flight modes to help smooth out the camera movements like cinematic to slow things down and with downward sensors to make sure that when it's landing uh, the ground below it is suitable for landing. With such a long flight time, the very long range and the high-end camera, this model will absolutely let you set up and take great pictures and video. Its Achilles heel is strong wind uh, and uh, it can be blown around by strong winds. Uh, but even then, the Mavic Mini handles wind far better than uh, any of the other three drones I've looked at today. So out of the four models I've reviewed today, what can you take away? Well, look, Parrot Mambo is definitely an entry level drone with everything you need to have plenty of fun, including the FPV experience but the images and video will only disappoint you. The Snapton is also very much an entry-level drone, much better battery life and flies much more like a larger, higher priced drone. But again, the camera is going to disappoint you. The Dobby is a surprisingly uh, great little drone with decent image quality and high definition uh, camera. But the manual positioning of its, uh, of its camera is going to catch you out and annoy you. Leaving that aside, the Dobby is a good bet if you're only after a cheap drone for selfies and quick videos. Just make sure you get a second battery with a short flight time. But look, ultimately, all three of these are almost certainly going to leave you wanting to upgrade at some point. So there's no doubt in my mind that if you can justify the price, Mavic Mini will not only help you learn to fly, but crucially, it's a drone that many people will remain happy with, with no requirement or desire to upgrade, meaning that in itself may well save you money in the long run. Look, at the end of the day, the money is key here. And at two to three times the price, uh, the Mini is not going to be for everybody. But look, at least now you know the good and bad points uh, of some of the other models. And you can now make your uh, mind up. There you go. I think uh, today you could count as four reviews for the price of one. I'll include links to more in-depth reviews that I have done for each one of these models where you can get more info. So look, uh, hit the old uh, sub button and bell if you want to be notified when I put up more videos and thumbs me up if you like my style of video because it all helps the cause. Either way, until next time, whatever you're flying, have fun and happy flying.